In today's video, we are looking into more examples of wrong usages of the language. And uh, Yula, you gonna tell us something. I'm going to say hi. And this is something you often come across in emails when people do not check your name. Okay, you already know my reaction. I just hate it. I totally, totally despise that because I have a name and my name is Kate and this is Yula. And I hate to be addressed, hi. Hi, what does it mean? You know, this is the worst thing to address a person. You should say, hi, Kate. Can you please help me with this and that? Please forget about it. Check the person's name. And don't expect this person to answer your email after. Hi, we're getting rid of this one. Definitely. Next one. For the next one. We can't do it that fast. We can't. Can sounds too direct and again hopeless. What I would expect people to say is we're unable, it wouldn't be realistic, I'm afraid, I'm sorry, and then again offering some options. Maybe saying, yes, we can do it faster if you provide us uh, some help or some more resources. It would sound more optimistic and positive. Definitely, yes, I love the unrealistic part. Yeah, so just getting rid of it. The next one goes as we need costs to be low. I would even pronounce it once again. We need costs to be low. Yeah, we need, you need. Okay, great. Well, I don't need it. So the most important thing, again, is to involve the person you're talking to or the person that you want something from into the decision-making process. So you would be saying, what sort of budget are we looking at? What sort of budget are we looking at? Hopefully, the budget is enough. And the last one here is... Ooh, it's... Ready? You ready? Yeah. It's impossible to do it by Friday. It's impossible. How about we change this impossible word? Because as Audrey Hepburn said, the word itself says, I am possible. Is it? Yeah, but of course we have to be realistic about it. And so we use this word realistic in our reply, saying it wouldn't be realistic. It is unrealistic to do it by that point of time. And so you're being honest and respectful. So let's be realistic and improve our English. Make your English work and remember, nothing will work unless you do.